inhabitants of the world wide web, how is life? So as of recently, I've been hopping on the anime train. Destination? Who knows? No doubt a cardboard box because it's all I'm doing is watching anime. I don't have assignments. What assignments? Who have you been talking to? I, rather oddly, keep a list of all the animes that I have ever watched. Ever. <laughs> Movies included. It's not a very extensive list. Disney, what are you doing? It's not a very extensive list. There are many people who have seen many more animes than I would ever dream of watching. But I've totaled it to be around 30, give or take a couple of animes that I've forgotten. So, seeing as I had so many of them under my belt, I thought I'd share with you my top 10 favourites. Or five, depending on how long this video gets. <laughs> Before we begin, I'm going to reiterate something that I said in the anime tag. My favourite animes are the lifestyle ones, the ones that are meant to reflect real life. So a lot of the animes are going to be less Game of Thrones, more keeping up with the Kardashians. But my list is obviously not exclusively lifestyle. Anyway, let's get going. Warning, this video may contain minor spoilers. The full list will be in the description for you to check out at your own pace, should you wish to skip the minor spoiler. 10. Say I love you. So Say I Love You follows a 18 year old girl I think called May as she goes around school. She's a very reserved girl, very closed off to the rest of the student body. She's untrusting and very suspicious of everyone. That is, until Yamato comes along. They end up dating, it's this cute and frustrating relationship with its all of its ups and downs and yada yada. One thing that stood out for me was the insane character arcs. May starts off the series very closed and isolated, with no friends and definitely no boyfriend. She ends the series surrounded by friends with with two guys fighting over her, which, you know, for me. Hi, Bridget Jones here, how's it going? It was very nice to see. It's great to see the introvert get everything, and someone who's not necessarily stereotypically pretty get the most popular and attractive guy at school. Nine, Dora Dora. Now, this was, for a time, my all-time favourite anime. It's once again set in high school and follows Ryuji around his lessons and daily life. He's crushing on the prettiest girl in school, hangs out with his best friend who is also a girl and was very nice to see. And you know, life is good. That is until Tiger comes along. She just bounds in and breaks my heart and my soul and crushes it into a million pieces because she's just so adorable and fierce and ah. Uh, I'm okay. She's cute. Right? But she's feisty and incredibly sundere. And it takes a while for Taiga and Ryuji to get together. But let me tell you something. By the time they even figure out that they're going to date, you're going to have planned their wedding and named all of their five children. OTP for life, fam. OTP for life. And it gets very fast paced and dramatic towards the end. So if you want an anime that's going to break you and then make you, this is the one to go for. On the edge of my seat and clutching a tissue the entire time, fam. Eight, your lie in April. Music, love, heartbreak, this one has it all. I actually watched this under Dan is not on fire's authority that it was amazing. And oh my God, yes it was. It will pick you up, lift you higher and higher, and then will drop you from the top of Mount Fuji. Sometimes it catches you, other times it just lets you fall to the ground. It's a high school one, again. But that's really all I'm gonna tell you. This is definitely one that you have to watch yourself. Just do it. Seven, Beyond the Boundary. Now, Beyond the Boundary is one of the chosen one kind of shows where the main character is like the last surviving member of this clan, the only clan that's gonna defeat the only evil in the world, that kind of, of anime. That is Mirai Kuriyama, one of my all-time favorite characters ever. Cute, clumsy, kicks ass. What more could you want? She's the last surviving member of a clan that was destined to take out Yomu and remove them from the earth because they're bad apparently. But she ends up going to school and befriending a half Yomu, half human person thing. I don't know. And he's your typical anime perv. No, seriously, he is. <laughs> It's very comedic and also dramatic, and if you're into that kind of anime, this is for you. Six, 
Kiki's Delivery Service. This is one of the many Studio Ghibli films I have completely fallen in love with. Typical to Studio Ghibli, it's very, very beautiful. The artwork and story is just exquisite. This one is a perfect mixture of everything that you could want. It's fantastical and lighthearted, but also doesn't skip out on the drama. Light drama, but drama nonetheless. Kiki is a witch who moves to a town in the middle of somewhere. I don't know, in order to complete her training. Her and her cat end up taking residence on top of a bakery and they just end up helping out there. It's also she can become this fully fledged witch, something to do with her having to live on her own. Watch it, it'll make more sense. Five, My Neighbor Totoro. If you haven't even heard of this film, then clearly you have no idea about the anime community. This film has inspired so many crossover fan arts with its beautiful and iconic scenes. It's a beautiful fairy tale depicting family love and includes this giant freaking fluffy creature that's so huggable I could die. Drop dead, cause it's adorable. <clears throat> Watch it, it's good. Four. Howl's Moving Castle. Now this is just a masterpiece in my opinion. Sophie, the main character, is a pretty quiet girl in a very quiet town. That is until Howl comes to visit. The long and the short of it is she befriends him, they both get a curse on them, they have to go and get rid of the curse and it's really good. <laughs> and Howl has to fight a couple of demons of his own. Three. Chobits. This was one of the very first animes that I ever watched and I completely fell in love with it. It's comedy, but it's also really dark too and very mysterious. Set in futuristic Japan where your computers are your personal assistants, literally. They're sentient in a controlled manner, each with their own personalities and traits, but you never forget that they're your computer and they also don't uprise and try to kill all human scum unfortunately. Hideki moves to Tokyo after failing school back home and finds a persicom lying in the garbage. So he takes it home and later names it Chi. Chi is the most adorable being and needs to be protected at all costs. Also, I want a mobile persicom because hello, Sumomo. Turns out Chi has a dark past and it's really interesting to see how it plays out and how each character's lives intertwine with that dark past. Two. Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid. It's so ridiculous and awful, but that's why it's so good. Toru, a dragon from another world, somehow ends up living with Miss Kobayashi and basically invites all of her dragon friends to stay. Big breasted characters, an incredibly adorable child dragon, and a super emo dragon are just some of the characters that are in there. It's such a medley and it sounds absolutely awful. And it kind of is, but in the best ways. Go watch it, it's good. And finally, one. Erased. Erased is kind of like a murder mystery show. Adult Satoru finds himself going back in time and becoming a child again to discover who it is abducting and killing all of his classmates. And if that hasn't sold you, I don't know what will. It's just so good. There aren't any words to describe it other than it's amazing. It's such an original idea and it's played out so well. I implore you, if you only ever watch one anime, make it Erased because it is just phenomenal. So those are my top 10 animes. I'm really interested in knowing if you agree with me. Have I said some of your favorite animes or do you have any more that you want to add to the list? If so, put them down in the comments. I'd love to read them. But anyway, that's all for me for now. Thanks for your time. Have a great day wherever you are and I'll see you real soon. Bye.